Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial for XBMC. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to set up the menu in Transparency. Now before we get started, this one is not going to be the skin for you if you like to add in your own um, shortcuts, you like to write your shortcuts. You cannot do this in this skin unless you go um, through the XML files, you edit it that way through code and script and all of that stuff. <laughs> you won't be able to do it. So. Um, now that we got that out of the way, we're going to head into the settings and we're going to go to skin settings and we're going to go to menu. Now I will be showing you guys how to set up the home window, general backgrounds, all that stuff in another video, but we're going to go down to menu and within the menu there are several different options that you will already have made for you, um, but there is one other option that you're going to need to set up yourself. This is going to be your favorites. Now, whenever you click on this, it will take you to, it'll give you an option to click on a favorite you already have. Now, in order to do that, I will show you guys how to do that real quick. We're going to exit out and we're going to go, for me, I'm going to be adding um, movie tags as my custom menu. So you're going to go over to whatever you want to go to. So I'm going to go to my tags. I'm going to right click on uh, one that I don't have, say anime, and you're going to add to favorites. So that's going to add it to my favorites. Now to remove something you already have, you're just going to click on it and well, let me see this one's already in there and then remove it from favorites so that's how you do that now whenever I click on my menu I want it to automatically go to my tags window so I'm gonna have to go to uh, library and this is one of the things I hate about this skin so I was just in my tags so I'm gonna go into my library and then it's gonna take me to whatever whenever you click on library it's going to automatically take you to whatever page you were just on and you closed. It's not going to default to your library's route, which is kind of annoying. So we're going to right click on tags and add that to favorites. I already have that, but if you wanted to add something like that, you would click on it here. Any other favorite, like say you wanted to add something within an add on to a favorite, you would just right click it, say add to favorites. There's a movie you want, right click it, add to favorites, all that stuff. That's how you're going to do that. So we're going to go into settings and uh, we're gonna go to skin settings. We're gonna go back to the menu and we're gonna go ahead and go through this list. We're gonna try to make this as quick and painless as possible. I am not gonna use videos because I feel like that is useless to me. And we're gonna go to mute movies. Now, if you want these to be titled something else, you cannot change the title. It is already set in stone unless you go change the skins XML file and all that good stuff. So. Moving on, so we're going to go over to movies, we're going to click sub menu, and it's going to give you all these different options. You can just click on whichever ones you want to be in your sub menu. So I have all of these set up. Now moving on down to add-ons, it allows you to add an add-on into this. So I already have ice films added. I'm going to add a add-on, another one. I'm going to add one channel. And then I'm going to go back down to where I put one channel and I'm going to change the button to one channel. So that'll be the title of the button that you're going to click on. And then you can add as many as you want, or not really as many as you want. You can only add five. <laughs> and then we're going to go down to favorites. If you wanted to add a favorite, like there was something from an add-on in a movie or something that you wanted, you can put it here. Moving on, we're going to go down to TV shows. You can change all of this stuff in here, add add-ons, the same as you would with movies. Moving down, we're going to go to music videos. You have all the same options. Um, add-ons, favorites, same thing applies with movies. I don't use vid music videos as of right now. Music, same thing. Um, you will have all the same options. We're going to undo that because I don't have any music on this computer as of right now. So pictures. I will show you guys how to set up the folders within pictures because I do have one picture of folders on this computer as of right now. This one's new so I'm still moving all of my files onto it and pictures is kind of the last thing. So go to folder source name now this is going to be where your full your your um, pictures are saved on your computer mine are in users slash king slash pictures slash con i think it's cons okay so this is going to default me to my cons folder if you want your pictures folder you would just put pictures um, yours is going to be a little different than mine. It's not going to say the exact same thing. It's going to be your username and then what your folders are titled. So this is going to default me to my cons folder. And then we're going to change the folder name to cons 
and then we'll just do another one just so you guys can see so we're gonna do uh, just my pictures folder users king and pictures now this is just going to default to my pictures folder on my computer so same thing with add-ons and favorites go down to um, add-ons and you can add all these different things in here you can add folders like we just did applications now this one i do not know what this is for i've tried to figure this out i i don't know if you guys know what this is for please let me know down below i don't know what command i would put here like things like run add-on and uh, activate window don't work so if you guys know what that's for please let me know and i will do an updated video on that you can add different add-ons here i have these um, same thing applies with movies and all the other things that we did uh, so Going down to weather, you can activate your weather. I'll show you guys how to set that up in another video. Favorites, this is just going to be a list of all the favorites that you already have favorited. Um, you can add those. Settings, uh, different settings that you can open up to. Um, videos, TV shows, all that stuff. Favorites. Um, disc, I'm not going to be using this. I'm not going to be using this. Uh, play disc, this is just going to give you options for whenever you insert a disc. Um, custom one. Okay, so setting this up. Now, you're going to set up submenu. Now whatever you put as your first favorite is going to be the name of the button within the menu. So this one's going to be tags, so I'm going to put tags, done. So this is going to automatically default to my tags. Well, it should default just to my tags. And then here I'm going to put a tag that I already have. So I'm going to put my uh, Disney tag. That'll open to my Disney's movies. Then uh, we'll do Marvel. That'll open up to all my Marvel movies. And we'll just say, oh, we'll do throwback and done. All right. So those are all going to open up to different things. And uh, if you guys want something else within a custom, your custom menu, you can't add it unless you can make it a favorite. That's one of the things that sucks. You can't add any kind of, uh, any kind of, uh, you can't activate a window, add on anything like that. You can't write what a shortcut so that's what kind of sucks unless of course you go and do this within the files of the skin so now that we have all that set up i'll show you guys a quick preview of what we have going on here um, you can click on all these different things um, movies will automatically default you to your movies library is going to default to whatever you had open within movies so say you were in genres library is going to default to genres and then you can back out to the root through there actors same thing so that's a little bit of an annoyance to me uh, actors you have all these things pictures when you click on pictures it's going to take you to whatever you had open same thing with library library and pictures are going to act the same same with the tags button down below whenever you click on it it's going to automatically take you to whatever you had open last so the last thing I had open was my picture uh, root. But um, say I open up my cons folder and it will take me to all my folders that I have in cons. Right now the only one I have is Comet Palooza 2014. So I click on that and uh, go through all those pictures. But we're going to exit out of there and just exit out. When you click on pictures again, it's going to take you to that. So that's what I was talking about with library, with um, tags, all that stuff. It's going to default to whatever you had open whenever you close the window. Add-ons. Um, it's going to have the list of add-ons that you have. Whenever you click on add-ons, it automatically defaults to program add-ons. I don't know why that gets on my nerves. I wish it would default to get add-ons. But instead, get add-ons is going to be underneath settings. So there's your add-ons, and that's where it's going to default to to get them, um, disable them, enable them. All of your add-ons are going to be within there. That's kind of a pain to me. I would rather it be underneath add-ons instead of settings, but whatever. I uh, won't let you do that. So skin settings, I have that. File manager, all that stuff. Now tags. When I click on tags, it's going to take me to my uh, tags folder the first time I click on it. Now, the next time I click on that, after, say I go and click on, I don't know, I want to look at my Disney movies. So I click on Disney, I exit out of Disney, I click on tags again, just the tags. This is going to default to my Disney folder instead of defaulting to my tags window like this. And then you can go through the route. So that's one of the annoyances I've found on this skin. It's really annoying to me. Oh yeah, also, if you accidentally click your settings off on your... Uh, say on your menu and you don't have settings here anymore and you can't get to anything to change it don't worry it's up here in the top up here you can click on this button 
the power button and then your settings are here so you can just go to that if you accidentally get rid of your settings button in the menu well guys this is how you set up your menu in transparency and all my advanced users you probably are a little bit annoyed by the skin like i am you can't add certain things without going into the um, changing the code and all that kind of stuff in it um, if you guys have any questions i will do my best to answer them i am not a guru i don't know everything but if i know it i will let you guys know and uh, yeah guys, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.